Hey, I'm out here on the Tahoe Rim Trail in Lake Tahoe, just above Incline Village. Just uh, trying a little winter trip out here. Different perspective than I'm used to. All the snow is just, just beautiful. Uh, weather's nice, sunny, probably warmer than usual for this time of year. Uh, a little breezy, probably the breeziest day of my trip that I picked for this trip, but that's okay. Um, beautiful, and uh, we're gonna have some fun. It's beautiful. And there I have my first view of Lake Tahoe through the trees. Soon I came upon Chickadee Ridge. I forgot my bird seeds, so I picked up some I found in the snow, but I think it was a bit frosty for them. So climbing in the snow is a lot of work, but man, the higher I go, the better the views. All right, it's almost four o'clock, so I'm starting to think about finding a good place to camp. There's some good options here, but I want somewhere where in the morning I can wake up and at least hike up to a viewpoint and see the lake, get some shots of the sunrise, hopefully. So uh, let's find a camp. And now to prepare the site for my tent. So I don't know if you can tell, but right behind me I packed down the snow, tried to make it level and as packed down as I can for my the footprint of my tent. Either that or a snow grave, right? Just kidding, babe. I'm okay out here, being safe. No, uh, all kidding aside, I had to pack that down and make it level so it's ready for my tent. And uh, it's just about ready to set up. So I brought the air mattress I usually sleep on, but since it's going to be cold tonight and I'm actually sleeping on top of snow, I brought a foam mattress in addition to that, which I don't normally bring, but uh, it's not much extra weight at all and definitely worth it to uh, have a warm night's sleep. So that'll help insulate me a little bit tonight. So that's, uh, we'll see how it works. All right, it's about 5 p.m. Camp is all set up. Now it's time to start thinking about dinner. Uh, my bear canister there. I'll just have to get out my cook system and uh, make a warm meal to uh, warm me up in the snow. So uh, that'll be nice. <laughs> I found a nice little perch here overlooking Lake Tahoe. Got my beer to enjoy the sunset. No, don't normally bring a beer in with me, but short trip, 
not much food to carry and I uh, thought it'd be a nice treat for sunset over Lake Tahoe. So it's almost a uh, good night. So uh, if not sooner, we'll see you in the morning. As I sat and prepared for bed, I took in the beauty and wondered how I would handle my first night camping on top of snow. Well, good morning. It's about uh, 6.30 in the morning. I survived the night, survived the cold. It wasn't too bad overall. Got a little cold around uh, 4.35 in the morning, but uh, you know, with my layers, did pretty well. So now it's time to make some uh, hot coffee and warm oatmeal to get this day started. This warm coffee definitely is good after that cold night. So uh, yeah, once again, it was a successful night and uh, Never got too cold. Um, beautiful evening, beautiful morning. In case I didn't mention it yet, why I wanted to come out here was um, number one, to see all this, to hike in the snow, camp in the snow, something I haven't done in a, a very long time and, and not in this much snow ever. So um, I wanted to experience that. And um, number one, just, just uh, see the beautiful views but number two just um, I think sometimes we put up too many barriers say we can't do something because we don't have uh, this certain piece of equipment or um, some pricey new thing and uh, I just wanted to see if I could get out here and uh, have a successful backpacking trip in the snow with what I have and um, you know with adding additional layers for clothing additional layers to my sleep system and um, and it worked out great. Um, no problems last night. I did learn one thing. When you're setting up your tent, don't bury your stakes too deep because in the morning it will be a solid block of ice that it's encapsulated in. So um, I had a couple of my stakes pretty deep and it took me probably close to an hour to dig all my uh, stakes out with my little uh, ultralight trowel. So either don't bury them too deep or uh, bring a good little or uh, axe or, or a little bit better shovel or something like that to get them out with and you, you'll be fine but um, yeah I was I was felt like I was making Hawaiian shave ice with my uh, little trowel all morning so it eventually it worked out that was the only um, only little hiccup and you know it was just a learning experience I'm glad I learned from it so it wasn't uh, anything that set me back too much or uh, was a safety issue or anything like that so it's been a great trip gonna have some oatmeal with my coffee and then we'll head out see the family and one additional thing on gear um, by uh, saying you don't need the newest fanciest thing by no means do I mean uh, sacrifice uh, compromise your safety um, know uh, know your limits and um, know your gear and if you're not sure it's gonna get you through a night make sure you're really close to where you can hike out uh, to safety uh, either close to your car, or close to your house, wherever you are. Uh, if you live in a cold weather area with snow, just try it in your backyard first. Um, you know, I, uh, I've slept in sub freezing temperatures plenty of times before, so I wasn't too concerned about the, uh, the temperatures. It was more just uh, how to set up in the snow and uh, uh, with the gear I had, and it was, it was no problem. It was a great experience. But number one, uh, be safe. Uh, don't compromise your safety. Make sure you have gear to get you through uh, sub-freezing temperatures and uh, then have a good time. I had to take one last look at the lake before leaving my camp. 